If you're using QuickBooks Online and you need tools for progress invoicing, Noify's contract management can help automate this process for you and make sure that you always know the outstanding balance of your contracts. To do this, we'll start in our contract job section and hit add new contract job. I'll give the job a name, choose a client from my database, and choose fixed price for our contract style. This lets us invoice on a percentage of completion of the total value of the contract. Uh, and we can also do this with our AIA style invoicing, uh, but for this example, we'll just cover the standard fixed price. I'm going to choose simple for our job costing style. This will speed up the process of just getting the contract values into the system, and I will start creating my proposal. If the proposal is already signed, you don't need to worry about a lot of these values. Uh, the important thing is going to be adding your line items. These are going to be the items that you end up invoicing the client. Uh, and since this is a fixed price contract, the cost of your project won't actually matter. Uh, the final pricing will be based off of what you enter here. So I could say, you know, this is my site prep and demolition. And you see that I can reference my QuickBooks database of items just in case I need this carry over onto the invoice. I'll say we're charging $1,000 for site prep. I'll add a line item and say we are also going to do framing and carpentry for which we will charge $4,000. And we will also be doing uh, drywall and uh, I'll just call it drywall. And this is going to be for $5,000. This creates a fixed price contract where in this case it's $10,000 total. And that's really all I need to do to set this up. We do have features for sending this out for an e-signature, downloading a document, but I'm just going to make it active as if the client has already approved and we're ready to start invoicing. Once the contract's live, It'll be as simple as just hitting the Invoice Now button at the top of the screen. You'll see that it's green and it's always at the top of Contract and Change Orders. It'll also be in our Contract Jobs table, which I can show you later. Clicking Invoice Now will pull me into my screen where I have the ability to start putting in the progress that I want to bill out of the contract. We can choose a different percentage for each line. For instance, I could say 75% of site prep, but 50% of framing. And if I want to invoice an entire line, I can just click this arrow or obviously I can fill in 100%. Nofi also gives you the ability to enter this in dollar figures if you prefer. So if you don't invoice in percentages, I could say $1,000 out of site prep, but only $2,350 out of framing, just in case I want to get more specific with all of this. Or if you invoice the total value of the contract, you can choose methods three or four, where I also have the ability to say, I just want to invoice 40% of the contract. Or I could say, take the contract value and I want to invoice $3,500 of it so far. But for this example, I'll invoice a different percentage for each line item, uh, as we very commonly see. So I'll say 100% of site prep and 50% of our framing. When I confirm this, it'll pull the items into the invoice document for me. I can finalize this, and it'll generate an invoice that is sent to QuickBooks. For what it's worth, we can also email an invoice document to your client, and we can customize your email uh, output uh, for the document that we generate. So if you don't like the way our Noify invoice documents look, just put in a request with our support team, that's support at noify.com, and we're happy to customize them for you. Once the invoice is created, and here's a sample of what it can look like, uh, this is where we would be emailing it out and customizing the email. This is another thing we could set defaults for. If you'd like to attach a schedule of values uh, for the whole contract balance, we could show that as well. And you'll see that if you're synced with QuickBooks, it says Sync OK here. So all I have to do is click this, and I can click View in QuickBooks, and you'll see the transaction that was created in your QBO account. And now it'll have an outstanding invoice with the client that you had selected for the total balance and it carries over all of your products and services, and this is in my accounts receivable. Plus, as an added bonus, Nofi does have a two-way sync with your QuickBooks account for payments, so if I receive the payment and I record that in my QuickBooks account, I can always go back to my Nofi account here. Uh, I'll hit sync now. Anything that comes from QuickBooks to Nofi needs to be triggered with this button. Uh, everything in the other direction, as you saw earlier, can be automated. And this will automatically close out the invoice for me. I saw an update that said that uh, the import is complete. So when I refresh this screen, I'll be able to see that this invoice is closed and fully paid.
Then when I go back to my contract, I'll be able to see that it is a $10,000 contract of which I've invoiced $3,000. I can see what percentage of each line that I've invoiced. And if I hit invoice now again, it'll let me invoice for the remaining balance. For instance, I've invoiced framing for 50% so far. To invoice the remaining, I would put in the final 100%. That's how our progress invoicing works. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us at support at and we're happy to help you. Thanks and have a nice day.